Welcome to the first tutorial on this channel, which is about making an HDR video from GoPro footage. So the GoPro footage in Protein settings looks straight out of the camera, very washed out and mushy like this. And we're going to create an HDR look, which means the shadows are light and the highlights are darkened. So there is a lot of dynamic range in the video. And it has a certain look, especially for drone shots or, for example, landscape shots. It's a very useful technique. And what we need is GoPro Studio and an editor like After Effects, where we can apply an effect called Luminance Mask. So we start off in GoPro Studio, import our file. I didn't have the original file, so I had to use some random stuff from the internet, but it's the same process. You select your file, maybe you want to uh, cut it or cut it at the end. Um, then you go to advanced settings and check that your image size is at the source settings. The frame rate is at the source settings. File format, AVI or MOV, that really doesn't matter if you're on a Mac. You may choose MOV because it's better processed. Quality, um, choose high, that's important. Remove fish eye, it doesn't matter. Remember settings, you can leave that little checkbox thing and hit OK. Then you add it to the conversion list. So it's now here and will be converted if we click on convert all. So after the conversion is completed, we proceed to step two, which is editing. And I brought in the footage we are working with. I converted it before, so here's the final footage. I can play it back. Um, and because I used the ProTune settings, which is important for making an HDR video like this, um, it's very washed out and muddy, but we can fix that by simply adding the ProTune setting. Or if we leave it at none, we can change the exposure and contrast saturation the way we want, but I will go with Protune because it's it's a good starting point, you know. And first of all, you bring your exposure up until the shadow areas are bright enough that you can see them good. And maybe we adjust the uh, tint a little bit, okay. And if you did so, you can export your first clip with the settings Cineform MOV or Cineform AVI on the custom preset, quality high, source, source, export. After you exported the color corrected footage, you go back into GoPro Studio and pull the exposure down until the highlights become visible, which is the sky right here, it becomes blue. And you only change the exposure and export the clip again with another name, maybe uh, dark or something. So now we have two converted clips, one dark and one bright clip, and we will import them into an editor, for example, um, After Effects, and create a new composition from any of those shots. And the dark video has to be on top of the bright video. So make sure the dark is on top of the bright. Maybe we can mark the color um, of the dark brown and the bright with yellow. So we can easily identify both of them. The important step in creating the HDR video comes now with combining these two videos, the bright layer and the dark layer, with a um, key, which is a Luma key. It's an effect you can find right here or under effect keying Luma key. And we apply it to the dark video. So now with the effect applied, we see um, four different sliders. First of all, check that you have set key out darker because that will remove the dark areas of the dark picture. So we only have left the brighter areas, which then will cover up the extremely overexposed areas from the bright shot. So um, now it's trial and error, but I've think it's about 45. Yeah, okay, so the threshold will set how, at which point the 
dark areas will be keyed out. So if I rise it, you see the bright areas up here, which are pretty bright, are also keyed out, but we will bring it down because we only want to key out the dark areas. So about 50 should be fine for this shot. And the next important thing is the edge feather. You want to bring this up because now it looks like crap. The edges are too hard and you can say where the videos are blend. So bring the edge feather up to about 40 or 45. And you will start to see an HDR look. Now, if you want to refine the edges, you take the edge thin and reduce it maybe to minus one. So you see, if you look at the tree, it changes the edge, the HDR look edge, which you also get on images, for example, um, the, the bright edge. It's up to you if you want to change it or leave it. That's totally up to you. And I think it's quite good. And now to round it up and give it some punch, we create a new adjustment layer and get the brightness and contrast effect and brighten it up maybe around here and add some contrast back in. So there we are. If you compare it to the shot before, it's, um, yeah, hard to expose it correct because here are the bright areas, here are the dark areas, but the combined shot combines dark areas in the highlights and bright areas in the darks. So you get an interesting HDR look, which works for a lot of different shots, but mostly for landscape shots. And I prepared another example for you, which is here from the video you saw at the beginning. Um, as you can see, the settings are a little bit different here. I had to use a threshold of 105 and edge feather of 57 and I tried and errored, but I'm, I'm happy with the, with the finished result. So if you compare the starting point, which is this with an overexposed sky, but a good exposed stone thing on the right. Then you see that the uh, HDR look makes a lot to give the image punch and depth. As a last step, of course, we want to export our clip. So we hit File, Export, Add to Render Queue, and choose some settings, for example, H.264, and hit Render. If you have any questions, leave them in, in the comment section below. And if you want to know anything else in After Effects, um, ask. So as far as I can, I will make a tutorial about it. And I hope you enjoy it. And you can post your results under this video because we are all interested in what you come up with this very simple HDR video technique.